My name is Luke Now. I've been coaching cheerleading for about 20 years now. Um, I cheered in high school, uh, my senior year of high school, and I uh, went to the University of Memphis and made the cheer team. And while I was doing that, we practiced in a gym uh, that had like an all-star program. And the guy that owned the gym there uh, asked me to come in and start coaching. Right now, I coach uh, seven teams. I don't know that anything really inspired me to become a cheerleading coach. Uh, I was cheering and the guy that kind of asked me to start coaching uh, had me come in and it re worked really well with my, my schedule for school and college and, and just for work. I don't know that I'd say it's something I always wanted to do. I kind of fell into it, uh, but I very much enjoy it and it's the reason that I still do it now. I don't know if I have like a favorite moment. Uh, in particular, I mean, I'm, I enjoy, uh, you know, coaching the kids and working with them, seeing them grow and progress uh, as athletes and as people. Um, I get the chance to work with kids um, from, you know, five, six, seven years old all the way up to seniors in high school. So it's a really uh, rewarding experience. I did cheer. Um, I cheered one year in high school and five years in college. Uh, cheerleading was something different I'd never done before or was really even interested in, um, but getting to work out with uh, the college kids and being a D1 athlete was pretty exciting. Uh, we, we traveled a lot uh, with the, the sports teams there with basketball and football and uh, just something that really kind of changed my outlook on the whole cheerleading experience. I, I work a normal job uh, running a cheer gym and so I do that all day uh, from about 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning to about 2 in the afternoon and then I walk into high school cheerleading practice. I'll do one team right after another, right after another, uh, sometimes even four teams in a day, finish in at about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, when it comes to routines, I think I really enjoy the partner son aspect of it. Um, uh, you know. Helping kids learn how to pick up another kid, do these crazy stunts with them, spin them around, flip them around, and, and, and keep them safe while they're doing it uh, is a challenge, uh, but it's exciting and, uh, and it's fun to watch. Um, sometimes with a lot of discipline, sometimes I'm very stern. Uh, other times I'm energetic and, and I try to yell for them and, and uh, just get them excited about what they're doing. Really truly, it's just a, another form of um, uh, growth and learning, uh, any kind of sport or activity that's getting together, it's, it's not just about the sport and what they're doing, it's just kids learning how to, to cope with each other, to, to live life with other people that are different than them. We've got so many kids that have different temperaments and talents and convictions, uh, but they're all reaching for one same, same exact goal. And so uh, a lot of the sport is just uh, learning how to get along in life and, and get with other people that have different thoughts than you do. I would say that uh, I wouldn't encourage anybody to become a coach unless they really uh, have an affinity to work with kids and to help them grow and get better as people in life.